It's no bigger than a dinner plate, but the crown of thorn starfish is one of the biggest threats to the Great Barrier Reef. Queensland researchers are working on a robot that could help turn the tide. Cathy McLeish reports. This submarine looks like a sophisticated toy. Yeah, let it go. It's been 10 years in development, and if it reaches its potential, it could be a big weapon in the fight for the reef. It's only until basically this year that we've been able to really hit it hard and come up with a solution that we think can really make a difference. The crown of thorn starfish, or COTS, is being tackled by a range of programs, including managing water quality, monitoring and eradication, where divers hunt out the predators and inject them with a toxic solution. These researchers want the COTS bot to do the same. They just don't have enough people. We need a force multiplier that is actually going to make a difference on the reef. We, we can scale it up, target thing and actually you know, try and reduce the impact that this pest is having. The underwater robot will be set to seek and destroy within a GPS mapped area. We have a, what we call mow the lawn pattern uh, that will just target and it will just mow, essentially just mow the lawn looking for crown of thorn starfish. It detects one, administer the injection and move on. It's being trained to pick out the pest from other sea life through the use of film and 3D printed models. The system has seen uh, thousands of images for, uh, of cots and not cots and uh, now it's able to detect and uh, decide which one, uh, which one is cots and which one is not. We've done six months of hardcore training on this system. The reliability is astronomical. Trials will begin on the Great Barrier Reef in September, but to start with, an operator will confirm that the cot spot has identified a crown of thorn starfish before it's allowed to inject. It's due to be ready for development in December. All they'll need then is an investor to sink some money in. Cathy McLeish, ABC News.